All right, so I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that are sick and tired of my live feeds and my live posts and my rants and my memes. But, you know, there's people out there that are on my friends list that I know that are out in the world that are fighting for the same things that I'm fighting for. So this video is for those people. And, um, you know, for the re as far as the rest of the people that um, laugh at me or, or want to make ne negative comments on my posts, um, or whatever they want, they want to try to stop my movement, you know, um, you know, here's the thing, I've been an activist for almost, I don't know, 15 years of my life, probably since I was in middle school, actually, when I rebelled against what society told me to do, I've always been a rebel, that's who I am, and I've seen all this stuff happening for a long time now. There's a lot of people that have just been in politics. They're just now seeing this stuff. I've seen this cycle of 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 crap every four years. We vote for the lesser of evil. We we vote for puppets that don't even really matter at the end of the day because it's the Senate and the people in Congress and the people in the House that are really the ones that have the control. That the the, the presidents are just there to distract us, you know. So, so, you know, I've been awake for a long time. So this isn't nothing new to me. I see what's going on around me. I see what's happening. This has all been warned and foretold for a long time. So I've been protesting. I've protested. I've been to 10 plus or more protests in my life. I brought my children to protest. I was at the Charlottesville protest when the girl almost got, uh, when the girl got ran over by the car uh, by the white, by the so-called white supremacist, I was there when that happened. I almost was ran over in that crowd. So this is nothing new to me. Protesting is my life. Activism is my life. So anybody that has a problem with what I'm doing right now, thinks I'm insane or crazy, I don't care what anybody thinks about me. What I've said for the past 10 years is now coming true, and it's here for everybody to see right in front of everybody's eyes. What, what they're doing. If you can't see it, then you need to stop watching the news. You need to stop thinking outside your, your little bubble. And maybe think about what other people are saying here. And open your eyes to another possibility that our government is corrupt. Just like every other government. And that what's going on here makes absolutely no sense. The curfews, the vaccines, Dr. Fossey, none of it. And you know what? I'm not going to sit here and put up with this stuff anymore. So I'm doing something about this. And if anybody has a problem with it, you can delete me. You can unfollow me. You don't have to like my post. You can call me crazy conspiracy theorist all you want to. But you know what? I've been right for a long time about a lot of stuff that I've been saying. And I see it all unfolding right in front of my eyes. Pay attention to what's going on in the world besides CNN and Fox News. Watch, watch the wars and what, what's going on behind the scenes that you guys are being distracted against. That's what you need to be paying attention to. Because while you're being distracted by mass, they're bombing everybody over in the Middle East and Israel and Damascus. And do you guys even know your history? And then these Christians, do you know, have you read your Bible? Do you know that this has been prophesied for thousands of years? Now, I don't know what to believe, and I'm not telling you what to believe either. But you know what? If you have a problem with what I'm doing, with what, what our message is, I'm sorry. Maybe you're not ready to be at the point where we are. But we're fighting for our rights because we're awoke, and we know what's coming. You take away this right, and then they're going to take away every other right. They're already forced in vaccines. We can't go anywhere without a vaccine. You know? Do you see what they're doing to us? Making us all dependent upon the government? And then the government doesn't even want to do anything. They want to give us scraps. It's scraps to these people. And I've been fighting against this stuff my whole entire life and trying to tell you guys this. And it's right here before your eyes. You see nothing but a prison inside a prison. Wake up. You know, that's all I'm saying. But if you don't like what I have to say, don't follow me. Don't 
don't comment negative stuff on my post. Just keep on scrolling. Because I'm trying to spread awareness and bring people together. That businesses and people are being manipulated. That's the point of my movement. That the police are not enforcing the laws. The ADA and the civil rights movement and every right that we have is being taken away from us. Right before your, our very eyes. You know, pay attention. We're being forced in our homes. We're stuck in our homes. And it's going to be like this for years. And we have a 97.5% recovery rate over this virus. So think about that. You know, and that's really all I have to say. But I'm just letting you guys know that, you know, if you want to stand in my way, go ahead and try. But, but you know, if you don't want to be a part of the solution, then don't get in front of those trying to do something, trying to, trying to make a difference. If anything, we're standing up for those people who are locked in their homes, who need to go out in public, who have disabilities, who have rights. And not everybody's disability is the same. Curbside service and being stuck outside in the cold is not a proper combination for a lot of people with disabilities, including my daughter who has autism. And you know, I expect a lot different from the left. These so-called people are supposed to be awoke and, and all for, you know, ableist rights and disability rights, and we're not supposed to say this word and that word. But you know what? So far, I've had people on the left discriminate against me the most out of anybody else. People with dreads, people with piercings, gay people. So, you know, I know who is the real problem here. And I don't care what anybody says. You can listen to me or not. You can choose to ignore me. You can choose to continue to watch CNN and do whatever the news says that they tell you to do and believe everything they say. But take five seconds of your life, of your Netflix shows, and your Facebook scrolling to educate yourself and research outside your freaking bubble. And you might find out that what you've been told all your life is nothing but lies. So, that's my message for today. And I proved with my last uh, Facebook post that what I'm saying is true. Target knows it, and so does a lot of other businesses. And you'll see, I, it might be, it might take me a while, but eventually I'm gonna start some kind of movement around here, and and I'm gonna make some kind of change because I'm not gonna put up with this anymore. I'm not gonna be stuck in a prison. And you know. Before it's too long, you guys are all going to be in prisons. You're already in prisons. You know, luckily for me, I don't have to get the vaccine because I'm on Social Security. And I don't have a job. So lucky me. But everybody else forced to be slaves for the government while they give us crumbs. And takes our tax money overseas to fight wars and kill innocent children. They don't care about you. They've proven that. Neither one of neither side. So you know we have a lot more power than what you think, and and, and at this point, we're fighting each other, and, and 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 people in the stores are my enemies. I have to fight. I have to worry about my safety every single day when I go outside because I'm afraid some crazy psycho mask person is going to attack me and possibly try to kill me because I'm not wearing a mask. That's, that's why I carry my weapons. Because this has gone way too far. So, goodbye, Facebook. You can continue to post whatever you want, your kitty pictures and your perfect lives. But if you do a little five minutes of research, you realize that, that a lot of lives out here ain't so perfect. And you're being distracted by all the murdering and the killing that's going on in the other sub part of the world that our tax money is going to pay for while our government gives us nothing. And you think Joe Biden and the Democrats are going to give us money? They're the ones that fund the people who fight to kill the people over there. Do some research. 
Two-party system is a freaking lie to keep us all enslaved every four years. And you think politics doesn't matter? Well, you better start caring about politics because care politics cares about you. And they're going to take every right away from you until you wake up. Take five minutes out of your day to research something instead of watching Netflix. Goodbye. Have a nice night. That's all I have to say.